What's going on everybody? It's your boy Big Mike and I'm back with another video. Today we are going to be reacting to Bizarre Bub's Scary Compilation video number 89. If you guys want to watch the original video, link is in the description down below. With that being said, let's get this video going. Alright, I have not seen these this guy's uh, video in a while. I've actually done uh, reaction videos to his uh, previous compilation videos, and we're going to go back. I don't really have a lot of catching up to do. Uh, we're doing 89, and then we got 90 and 91. So let's jump right into this video. On March 18th of 2024, a restaurant waiter begins to panic after noticing something very strange in the video he just took. The man in this video is known as Dustin Frazier, and while working the night shift all by himself, he decided to record a video for a friend using Snapchat. This is something that he often does, as messaging friends makes him feel less alone when he works by himself. Other employees I completely feel understand, as they themselves don't like being alone at this diner. Like any other night, Dustin records a video for a friend, but as he watches it before sending it over, he immediately starts to freak out. Take a look. No, because I'm freaking out, guys. Um, so I just Snapchatted um, my friend, right? And I, like, walked through. I was... And now the alarm's going off. That's when you leave. Every single time I watch these videos, y'all just become dumb as fuck, and you just want to be a new member of fucking Ghost Adventures, bro. Just get the fuck out. Why do you people insist on doing this to yourselves? Yeah, just run. Just... Why, why are you flipping the camera, bro? God damn it. I hate these so fucking cameras. I walked angles. through. I was walking through here. And whenever you get right here, you can see something behind me. And I like watched it. I, I did like a playback um, before I sent it to him, right? And um, I don't have any insurance, right? But um, I'm just like, I'm gonna have to do something because I don't know. I'm just like, I feel like I need to go to the doctor, but like, I'm constantly just like nauseous. And I don't really know why. Like, I have tried. I don't think, oh, for the love of fuck, it had nothing to do with what was behind him. What it was is, like, when the camera pans over and you see it, and then the fucking sound effect. Nauseous, and I don't really know why, like, I have tried take medicine for it and stuff, but I, I don't know, it doesn't seem like it really does anything. Um... And then, whenever I go and I'm just like laying down and stuff, like, I can't... As if Dustin wasn't already creeped out from working alone, he captures this. Either someone, or as many viewers believe, something was caught on camera. Although lacking sufficient lighting, the mysterious figure is just barely visible for us to see that it's right there. Looking closely, it appears to be watching Dustin as he unknowingly gets it on camera. However, this footage gets even more creepy when listening to the audio. Seem like it really does anything. Um, and then does it not sound like it's calling his name? To the audio. Seem like it really does anything. Um, and I don't then know. That's just me. Whenever I. Despite hearing something, it's hard to make out what's being said. Yet, for Dustin, the whispers alone were enough to convince him. It legit sounds like the whispers are saying Justin or Dustin, whatever the fuck this dude's name is. The point that I am trying to make is you get the fuck out. That something highly unusual was happening that night. If no one else had been inside the restaurant, then just what was this? While no further updates have been given by Dustin. That was a sign of fuck around and find out. Don't fuck around and find out, just leave. That's all you gotta do. Dustin, there has yet to be a definitive explanation for this mysterious footage. Yes. 
This next video was taken at a storage facility where a father owns a storage unit containing obscure vintage items. The facility is well known for being creepy, but it's the contents of this unit that's by far the creepiest. Among all things inside is a toy monkey that the father knows is worth a lot of money. Although initially not wanting to see- Bro, let's be real. That doesn't look like it's worth that much money. Like, you could probably get, like, if you do a garage sale with that, you're looking at, like, maybe two, three, four bucks, maybe five. Ten if the person buying it is feeling generous. So the doll, he now hopes that someone would bite off his hands as soon as possible. Ever since having it, the stuff inside his unit would move on their own. Now, noise complaints would often be made by employees who accuse the man of living in his storage. But after setting up a camera to show that it's the stuff inside being thrown around, he captures this. Am I supposed to... I thought I was supposed to pay attention to that baseball that was on the screen, but I get... Nope, nope, nope. See, the... <laughs> Bro. Yeah, get rid of it. Um, sell it for, like, a penny. Just get it out. You, you don't... Why do we gotta do this? If it's head turns, I swear to God... We're taking over monkey dolls now. Dude, th this is probably how Planet of the Apes started. That was probably the dumbest thing that I've ever said, but, like, is this man gonna do Planet of the Apes IRL? Like, is that what, except doll version, like, is that what's about to happen? If he starts walking, bro, I'm gonna lose my shit. He took, did he just turn his head? Hold up. Wait a minute. He just turned his head. Homie, you get rid of it. Like something straight out of a horror movie, the toy doll <sighs> moves on its own. The staff working at the storage facility were just as spooked as the man who owns this unit. He believes that this is the culprit behind the strange noises employees heard. While there has yet to be a prospective buyer for this doll, the man continues to document the monkey on the off chance that some- Do not continue to document the fucking monkey. Get it the fuck out. Don't even sell it. Once again, like I said, do not sell it. Nobody wants it. You're probably going to get anywhere between one to maybe even three dollars. Now that you're showing this shit, throw it in a lake, throw it in the ocean, just fly on a plane, break the window, throw it out the window, do something to get rid of this fucking doll. Something else is caught on camera, but currently <laughs> nothing else has happened. As always, let me know your thoughts on this one. My thoughts are get rid of it. Don't sell it, just throw it out. Nowhere now, near this your next house. video was captured on a ring camera that's placed inside a bedroom where a mother and her daughter. Why did that look like a doll for a minute? That legit looked like a doll. I am not even bullshitting you. I don't know if it was the camera angle or sleep what together. it was. Like most parents, the mother had bought the camera to keep an eye on her child, who's often left alone in their own room. But according to a comment giving more details on this footage, the camera was bought for another reason. Well, I Recently, can't even read the that. The mother's so. daughter has been saying some rather odd things, from mentioning a man who she occasionally sees in her closet to saying things like, I'm scared because he's there. The mother felt compelled to watch over her daughter more so than usual. But in the following footage, something happens that's forced her to keep her away from this room. One night, while sleeping in her daughter's bed to keep her... How about instead of just keeping her away from the room, how about you just move? Just leave. Leave the house. For the love of fuck. Company, this happens. Is a child possessed? What in the fuck is happening? This is what I always say. If a child sees something that you cannot, I'm packing my shit and I'm getting the fuck out of the house. The ghost can have it. I don't give a shit.
Why are you still there? Why are you laying there still? Upon waking up, the mother immediately notices something on the ceiling. It isn't until seconds later, when her daughter lets out a piercing screech, that she realizes she isn't the only one seeing this. Overcome with fear, but not completely paralyzed by it, she quickly attends to her daughter. But even she is trying her best to avoid this apparent horrifying sight by covering her own eyes. Clearly, whatever was above them must have been terrifying. Despite there being a lack of info on this footage, the recording alone does make for a creepy video. Whether or not she had seen the supposed man mentioned earlier remains a mystery. But ghost or not, viewers agree that something truly horrifying was seen that night. I'm going to say it one more time. If a kid sees something that you cannot, leave. Leave the house. Give it to the ghost. In the following video, a small child is seen roaming around in their bedroom after waking from a nap. It's 7 p.m., and the child typically doesn't wake up around this time. Usually, according to the mother, they're dead asleep until the next morning. But for some reason, they have woken up. I wish I could get that good of sleep. 7 p.m. to maybe 6 a.m., 5 a.m., 6 a.m. That would be a good-ass sleep. But unfortunately, with my work schedule and my content-creating schedule, I cannot do that. Although it may seem like this was just a normal occurrence, Something happens later in this footage, reassuring the mother that this incident was definitely strange. Keep in mind that her child can only babble, making it impossible for him to recount his experience. Well, this yeah, no fucking shit. It's a child. It's not a grown man. It's what was caught. Okay, okay, yeah, no, no. Mm -mm. So, my guess is one of two things, okay? I was going to say at first he could be stretching, but the fact that he got, you legitimately see him get pulled back a bit. Yeah, no, and then look at, look at his foot. Look how it's like down and he's, no, see, mm, get your child, leave the house. The ghost can have this house too. Is it going to happen again? Oh. It's only been four months since the family had settled into this house, and this happens. A voice, which definitely wasn't the child's, is heard on camera. Mind you that he can't speak yet, as his speech is only limited to babbling. Yet strangely, a voice is heard in this room. As the mother states, it almost sounds like a little girl speaking to his son. Freaked out, she shares this video in case anyone could explain it. This incident, coupled with the footage of her son's legs being seemingly pulled off the bed, has led viewers to believe that something supernatural had occurred. But like always, I'll let you be the judge. Is this evidence of a ghost caught on camera? Or is it something else entirely? Maybe the ghost just wants a friend. Maybe, maybe the ghost just wants a friend. You never know. This next video was submitted by Monica Cruz, who states that something pretty creepy was caught at work. She and a couple of friends work as security guards at an undisclosed location that according to her has been abandoned for quite some time. Her job is to patrol the premises in case anyone tries to break into the property. But after being notified of a person detected on site, she saw this. It's new, when we check the cameras for somebody, always looking for somebody, we don't pay attention to this. To the phone, so. no. Who's on call? We need to check the yeah, one in the office. Right, 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 right. 
And this is the same one that's in our office after everybody leaves because I can yeah, freaking yeah, hear yeah, it. Here it is. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I'm getting chills. I quit. Yeah. Same, bro. Same. I quit. I'm out. Fuck it. Who cares? And it moves fast. Wow. It does. It said hi. It went to the camera and saw. Yeah, yeah. We didn't see all that. Wait, oh my god. You guys are really gonna make jokes about the ghost. Do you know how that normally turns out? Do you know? Because it, judging by this video right here, you you don't know and you don't give a shit. We didn't get this far. We didn't get this far because we were so impressed by the first one. <laughs> Wait. Oh, we didn't get this far. No. It keeps coming by. She keeps taking the camera off. So. Yeah. You can see the time. Yeah. Does it not, let me go back, does it not look like it? it's like sneaking under something and then reaches for the bottom yeah, bar right there? No. There's more. There's more. It keeps coming by. Right there, the reaches, so. and then just, that's what it looks like you to me, I'm the, not even gonna I lie. This is crazy. <gasps> Watch it just come running at the screen. Full force. A large, shadowy mass is seen moving about in a very strange way. Monica and her co-workers mention that its movement is very fluid-like. It's because of this that the- If that's all that this is, I, I would actually move this back to number 10 and then have everything else come forward. Like the last clip that we just watched, I would uh the last clip that we just watched wasn't really that bad i would put this one at 10 and then maybe put the last clip over at nine and then everything else moving forward they hesitated to check whatever this was something about it just didn't seem right feeling too afraid they observed the figure through their cctv cameras now despite filming an old recording monica states that the video still gives her chills she says that it's the only video she has in which something truly unexplainable was caught on camera. But as Okay, yeah, if that's the case, then I would probably put this one at 9. Not 9, but 10. Last clip that we watched, put that one at 9. As always, let me know your thoughts on this one. If you caught something creepy on camera, or if there's any ghost videos you'd like me to check out and include in the next compilation... That being said... It's mid-afternoon when a small family gathers around the table for a quick meal. During this time, the child's parents decide to record a video capturing this moment on camera. But unbeknownst to them, this seemingly innocent moment would quickly turn creepy. Janice Bouchard, the child's mother who submitted this video, claims that the house in this footage is haunted. It belongs to her mother, and ever since Janice was a kid living here, strange things would happen. So why do you continue to stay there? Most unsettling thing she's Dumbass. ever witnessed was a drawing etched on her bedroom wall. The drawing was already there when she first moved in. It was an image of what appeared to be a giant bat with a wide open human mouth. So once again, why, 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 why are you staying here? You... Oh, fuck me. Brimming with blood. The drawing was disturbing to say the least. But fast forward to this day and something happens that reminds her of this image. Take a look. It's bon. It's bon. Why? It's wouldn't it just be great if the ghost got tired of the parents, like, telling the kid to do something? He just full force grabbed the microwave back there and just launched that bitch right at the husband, boyfriend, whatever he is to the woman in this clip. No! Okay. No. What a... Why would you ask that? Probably because you're well aware that with how long you've been living in this house, it is haunted. 
Just go. Just go. No. Let's go. 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 Yes. Go. 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 You're you're asking the child to talk, who I'm assuming doesn't even know how to talk yet. But if I if a child does this and points at something and you don't see what it is, I'm gonna continue to say, get the fuck out of the house. That is what I'm gonna say. No, no. C'est comme c'est moi la piste. Si je m'en parle, mais ça me tente. Hmm. Je m'inquiète pas de faire parler en tabarouette. Ah ben non, on va dire Colin, t'as un petit cas qui parlait pas. Est-ce que qu'on était bien, hein? Replaying this moment, it's apparent that something had caught the child's attention. Whatever it might have been, it doesn't appear on camera. If that's it for all this clip, I definitely would probably, between the last one and this one, I probably put this one at 10, last one at 9, the one before that one at 8. That's how I would order camera. this. Camera. Yet it's for this reason the mother thinks that something very strange had occurred. Initially, she was unfazed by her son's behavior, but after watching this video and remembering the drawing she saw as a kid, she was left beyond spooked. She was left even more so after realizing that he was trying to describe what he was seeing by imitating it. It was the least that he could do, given his lack of speech. The hooing sounds immediately made her think of the wide open mouth on the drawing of the supposed supernatural entity. Was the drawing making the same sounds? Who? Who? Maybe it was an owl. You never know. But once again, if a child points and you can't see whatever the fuck he's pointing at, even with the lights on in this case, pack your shit, get out, the ghost can have the house. But whether her son had actually seen this or not remains unknown. Just who or what did her child see in this house? Whatever he saw walked past Now despite him, I this guess. next video being posted more than five years ago, it still holds up as being pretty spooky. The person who uploaded this is known as Max, and while taking a walk through a secluded section of the park, he finds an entryway to a hidden sewer tunnel. I don't Both think him I've and seen a friend decide before. to explore this tunnel out of sheer curiosity, but as you'll see, they would later come to regret this decision. Watch. I mean, anybody that walks in one of these tunnels immediately regrets their decision whether the tunnel is haunted or not. Like, you'll find homeless people living here. You'll find, like, anything living here, and it'll still scare the shit out of you, paranormal or not. Oh, man, I'm gonna cut it out. This is gonna be annoying. Hold on. First of all, how is that even comfortable? How is walking like this oh, yeah, even comfortable with Hold how, like, long okay, so these tunnels are? Far, uh... Yeah, we got pretty far. That's the, the exit out there. So here's the manhole cover. You can kind of see it. Uh, here's, like, the ladder. But now we're pretty far. We're in this tent. Leave, 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 leave. Do not stay there. Do you hear that? Run. Yeah, run. Yep. Smartest people in this video so far. You get a round of applause, and I am giving you the status of the smartest people in this video so far. You heard that, right? Yeah. Cool. Upon reaching a dead end, a strange noise is heard out of nowhere. Listening closely, it kind of sounds like someone laughing in the distance. Oh, Both friends were- it, it was. It was. Not only did it sound like it, but it absolutely was. So scared that they instinctively fled without fully comprehending what they had heard. And that was, it was a smart only idea. after watching this video that they realized what it was. 
a sinister laugh that echoed in the distance. No one else was around except them, which made this incident extra creepy. Although encountering this in 2017, they still have no clue where this mysterious laughter had come from. And it's a good idea that they didn't try and find out. This last video comes from an online streamer from South America, who while doing a live stream, caught footage of something that's left viewers totally spooked. It was more than a few years ago when this happened, but even to this day, this clip remains baffling. Now the clip itself comes from a live stream in which Ari, the online streamer, was getting groceries for the week. Live streaming out in public is something that she occasionally does before ending her streams at home. However, it was inside her house where this occurrence took place. Only a couple hours before ending her live stream, Ari chats with her audience while cutting up some fruit from her grocery haul. While chatting with the viewer, she's told that someone is right behind her. Thinking that perhaps they were trying to scare her, she shrugs it off. I need to read a comment that I What does that say? Joker was killed by Superman in the first Injustice game. But I'm trying to find Superman killed Joker. Her voice makes me want to choke on my fist. Um, that voice, I assume they're talking about hers. I'm assuming they're talking about the OMG, who is that comment? Someone is right behind her. Thinking that perhaps they were trying to scare her, she shrugs it off. But as the stream continues, something happens I like how that scares I'm looking the living daylights out of her audience. From where she is sitting at. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Is, is the ghost like trying to steal something? Is the boat, is, is that like the ghost's face? Like it, it looks like it could be looking over his shoulder. And that's what it looks like to me. That That is legitimately what it looks like to me. In the background, someone else is briefly seen. This was strange considering that Ari lives alone, yet it appears that someone else had been there. According to viewers, this supposed person looks like a child. Looking closely, it appears as if a little girl has this supposed person looks like a I wouldn't say that looks like a child. That looks like a th like the just the structure of it, the head structure. I mean, this is going to be a dumbass comment to make. It looks like something off of Sesame Street or maybe a puppet show or some other shit like that. A child. Looking closely, it appears as if a little girl had popped into view before quickly hiding away. Again, Ari had no idea as to who it was that they saw. She had thought they were trying to scare her. But after looking at this clip, it became clear that they weren't playing around with her. Someone, or something, was in fact right behind her. Not much else is known about this clip or what occurred afterward, but even if no context is given, the clip alone is enough to make viewers unsettled. So I'd probably not put this at number one. To be completely honest with you, I would put the last clip that we just did at number one. Um, I'd probably put this clip here uh, i i'm a little bit skeptic on doing like six or seven comparing it to the restaurant clip at the beginning of the video but that's so just then, my just opinion who or even what was caught on camera thanks for watching Alright, so that's the end of the video, and in all honesty, this one actually really, it really wasn't that bad. Um, I only jumped once. It's the children in the video that are, like, seeing shit that the adults cannot, and I'm gonna say it again before I end the video. If your child, or a child, that you are babysitting, or whatever the fuck is going on, if a child points in a direction, waves their hand at something that isn't there, leave leave the house if it's not your child i don't recommend leaving the child behind 
that is your choice. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. Comment down below what other videos you would like to see. Again, link to this original video will be in the description down below. And I will talk to you all later.